We have so far seen the magnificent features of sunlight and witnessed God's creative artistry. In this section, we shall be concentrating on another vital issue and seeing another instance of design, the design in water. Much of the earth is covered in water. The oceans and seas represent some three quarters of the earth's surface. There are also countless lakes and rivers on land. The snow that covers the peaks of the high mountains is merely frozen water. An important part of the world's water is actually in the sky. Clouds contain millions of tons of water in the form of vapor. Even the air you are breathing at this moment contains a certain amount of water vapor. Furthermore, water makes up some 70% of the human body. There is more water in our cells than anything else. Most of the blood that flows through our body is also water. In short, there can be no life without water. Water has been specially designed as the foundation of life and is a substance whose physical and chemical features have been created for life. Let us now together have a look at some of the surprising characteristics of water. Like all known substances, liquids also contract and lose volume as their temperature falls. As volume falls, density increases, making the cold areas heavier. That is why liquids are heavier in frozen form than in liquid. Yet water, unlike all other known liquids, grows heavier until it reaches 4 degrees, at which point everything changes. After this, the water begins to expand and it becomes lighter as the temperature drops. So water is lighter in its frozen state than as a liquid. According to the laws of physics, ice should be heavier than normal water, but it is actually lighter. That surprising fact has one very important result. Ice thus floats on water, and that is of vital importance. There are many places in the world where the temperature falls below zero degrees centigrade in winter. Such cold naturally affects seas and lakes. The surface water freezes at zero degrees centigrade. Yet only the surface freezes. The layer below at four degrees centigrade is enough for fish and other water dwellers to survive.
Ice transmits very little of the cold in the air to the water layer beneath it. That is why even if outside temperatures are as low as minus 50 degrees, the ice layer never exceeds one or two meters. This allows seals, bears, and other polar creatures to make holes in the ice and reach the sea beneath. What would happen if things were different, if the ice sank to the bottom? In that event, the oceans, seas, and lakes would begin to freeze from the bottom up. Freezing from the bottom up would continue right up to the top, since there was no ice layer on the surface to keep back the cold. That would mean many of the world's lakes, seas, and oceans turning into giant blocks of ice. A layer of water a few meters thick would remain on the surface, and even if air temperatures rose, the ice at the bottom would never melt. It would be impossible for land-dwelling creatures to exist in an ecological system in which the seas were lifeless. In short, if water behaved like other liquids, the Earth would be a dead planet. Yet thanks to God's might and flawless creation, our world is actually a planet teeming with life.